This is not the Kia Nero, but it's its arch rival, the Toyota Prius, a car that has dominated hybrid car sales for the last two decades. But despite this, Kia thinks it could be onto a winner with its new Nero. And why do I say that? Well, let's face it, the Prius has a face only its mother could love. The Nero is far more conventional in its appearance, and to steal sales even more away from the Prius, Kia has made its hybrid car a fashionable crossover. And we know the appeal of those, don't we? Small crossovers are currently the must-have wheels, and one that is supposedly kind to the environment with its hybrid powertrain is sure to be a hit, thinks Kia. So, the Nero sits between the Seed hatchback and the Sportage SUV in size, and unlike the Toyota Prius, the Nero is being marketed as a family car that just happens to have a high-tech drivetrain, rather than a sandal-wearing out-and-out hybrid car. Well, first, let's talk about the interior. Well, there's lots of soft-touch plastics across the upper part of the dash and across the tops of the doors. There's some scratchy hard plastics further down. Overall, the design is um, very classy looking, but not what you'd call exciting. There's plenty of storage though, a large glove box, a couple of cup holders, a decently sized cubby under the armrest, but the door bins don't pass the car buyer big bottle test. While the design may be a little unadventurous, there's plenty of kit. Entry level one models get alloys, dual zone climate control, and a 3.5 inch TFT screen in the instrument cluster. This two model, like our car, adds a 7 inch touchscreen with sat nav and reversing camera, part leather seats and reversing sensors, while the three gets an 8 inch touchscreen, wireless mobile phone charging, 18 inch alloys and full leather upholstery. Back here there's a good amount of space which will be music to the ears of those who will be considering buying the Nero as use for a taxi for a certain taxi smartphone based app. Anyway, right, there's a good amount of knee room. But headroom is still very good, which is surprising actually, because the Nero's batteries are actually positioned underneath the rear seat. You can carry three people at a push. It's a little bit uncomfortable here and really only suitable for children. We've got Isofix points in the two outer seats and a couple of cup holders as well. Right, let's talk about the boot. Well, it's not quite as big as you find on a Toyota Prius, but it's still of a very good size. Let's open up the tailgate. And you'll see that there's a very square loading area. We've got some underfloor storage under here, which is really nice. There's a low lip, which is great when you're loading those heavy suitcases. And yeah, you can see it's quite of a good size. You could also make it bigger with 60-40 folding rear seats. But the really good thing about this is the fact that it's completely flat back here. Now on startup, you get this cheerful welcome note when you turn the key. How delightful, just a reminder that you're in an eco car. You just, all you have to do is slip it into drive and then you just glide away on electric power, just like you do with any other hybrid. It's really quite relaxing. The Nero is powered by a 1.6 litre petrol engine mated to an electric motor. Total power is 134 brake horsepower, with 0-62 miles an hour taking 11 seconds, and Kia claims combined MPG is 64.2. Go for the 1 and 2 models and you'll be paying no road tax. Around town the hybrid powertrain constantly alters between electric power and petrol power and it does it seamlessly, it's really very good in the Nero. Visibility is great, the steering is light and one particularly good thing about the Nero is the fact it doesn't have sharp brakes like you get in the Toyota Prius. Overall it's very easy and enjoyable to drive. So the Nero is quiet and easy to drive around town but that's really only half of the story. Head out onto faster flowing country lanes and motorways and the Nero starts to feel a little bit out of its comfort zone. With the Prius you can run around on electric power for quite some time but with the Nero the slightest prod of the throttle fires up the petrol engine and it means you tend to use the petrol engine more than you do the electric motors which really does ruin fuel economy somewhat. This Nero isn't particularly keen on taking every opportunity to replenish its battery pack either. In stop-start city driving, a Prius more readily uses its regenerative braking to charge up its batteries, but the Nero seems less keen on doing this. In our time with the car, we averaged around 51 mpg, which is neither terrible nor brilliant. 
and some more bad news too, I'm afraid. Now this mid-range two version has small wheels, so it means it has a comfortable ride and attracts no road tax whatsoever. However, models higher up the range not only attract road tax, but their benefit in kind ratings are also higher. With their large wheels, their ride is not only harder, but it also kicks up more road noise. So it means it can be quite uncomfortable on a long motorway journey. My last gripe is to do with the gearbox. Now, in most hybrids, you get a CVT or a continuously variable transmission, but in this, you get a six speed dual clutch automatic. Because it has actual gears, it's supposed to be more refined, but touch the throttle and you quickly discover it performs more like a CVT and you get that characteristic increase in engine noise, but no real increase in speed. The Kia Nero isn't a groundbreaking new hybrid, but what it does do though is combine two fashionable trends, that of the crossover and of the hybrid. But think of the Kia Nero as a family hatchback that also happens to be kind to the environment, then it becomes a far more appealing package. So if you're interested in the Nero, you need to check out its rivals and you can do so by watching our reviews of the Toyota Prius by clicking on the left or for something a little bit more conventional, the Kia Sportage on the right. Click at the top for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.